friends, it is Monica Genta here and I am so amped up for this week's episode of the Teacher Vlog. I have invited my friend Michelle Griffo to the episode and she is sharing ideas on how you can save time and save your sanity in the classroom by giving two resources that you need to add to your classroom and maybe even your home. It is a hilarious episode. She's so fun. It is going to make you smile and it is going to get you on the Amazon real quick to add these two amazing school supplies to your carts. Now, at the end of the episode, I want you to stick around because I am sharing an opportunity that is going to make your April awesome, I promise. So you'll wanna see that. But for right now, let's get rolling on this episode with Michelle Griffo. I am here with Michelle Griffo. She is amazing and you probably know her from Apples and ABCs on Instagram. She also co-hosts one of the greatest conferences that I have ever been a part of, ever spoken at. Teach your heart out. It's amazing and I'm so excited to hang out with you today. I know, me too. Thank you for having me. Yes, and you, your setup is amazing. We were just talking before recording that you have a new YouTube channel that is fire. It is fire. Well, well, well it's like sparks, not fire okay. yet. Well, no. well, sparks create fire, so there you go. You, It's, it's going to get hot. I can feel it. Okay. Now, what else is really hot are these uh, two school supplies that you are sharing with us today. That's the theme of the episode. Teachers are always looking for things to make our, our lives easier, to make things more creative, and you've got two that are amazing for teachers, so I'm super excited to hear about them. Okay, Monica, when you asked me what my two most highly suggested school supply. I mean, this is like a big decision. Yes, okay? it is. It's a very serious topic in the world of education and we cannot take it lightly. So I really took Preach. time to think about my two favorite school supplies. Yeah, I know. I really, I really pigeonholed you because <laughs> everyone comes on here and shares like two things. And so this, if it made the list, like watch out, it's Amazing. So okay. what is this first one that is like Michelle Griffo's go-to school supply? Okay, so my first one is, I have it right here. Yes. It's a personal laminate. <laughs> okay. I, I did this. Tell us more. Okay, so here's why I, I'm just going to keep you're it You're right like, here. it's like a child. You're like, <laughs> seriously, like, you're going to swaddle this thing later. <laughs> okay, so I have worked at a handful of schools. Right. And the laminator seat for me has been this, this piece of machinery that if you break it, you are in serious trouble. Yes. Like, even one school I worked at, only one person on campus was allowed to operate the machine. So you had to, weeks in advance, if you wanted something laminated, you had to prep. I mean, I don't prep thing weeks in advance. So yeah. I never was able to laminate anything. Mm -hmm. So for me, having a little laminator for laminating emergencies. Yes. And the best part is you could have it in your class. You could take it home. I mean, if you had a parent volunteer, you could send this bad boy home. Oh my gosh. Yes. You know, and like also, adopt, adopt a laminator. There it is. <laughs> I know. And so this is my, this is my go-to. And then you have to buy individual laminating sheets, Yeah, but they're thicker than the normal laminating mm -hmm. giant rolls. And yeah. so the durability is just amazing. And for last minute preppers, this is what you need. This is it. I love it. This you is are it. so correct when it comes to like people go crazy about the laminator. I, so at the school district that I work in, I'm the technology coordinator. And for whatever reason, the laminator falls into one of the things that I have to deal with as the technology person. That You're the make, person. That's You're me. Person. That's me. And okay. I am going to tell you a true story. In the summertime, teachers sneak in and laminate their whole life. Like, yes, we don't need to laminate our whole life. Like, why are you laminating the borders for... 
God, the, even there's an alarm going off saying, stop laminating, really. But the point is, the point is they would go in and they would laminate the borders for their bulletin boards. Guys, those are like a dollar from the Dollar Tree. What are we doing? We don't need to laminate that. I swear they're like laminating their fingernails. It's just, it's crazy. So I'm not kidding. I one time had a teacher laminate their kid's lock of hair. Like, what are we doing? What their like, own their own children's lock of hair? Yeah, mm -hmm, as a keepsake. Like, we don't need to be laminating that. So I hid it in a locked cabinet for the entire summer, and I didn't roll it back into the school until August. Because Why I, would you do that to us? We need to laminate everything, Monica. No, because you get it all jammed up, and then I get texts on my phone all hours of the day, like, the laminator's jammed. And I'm like, I know, because you shoved your kid's lock of hair through that thing. <laughs> That's why it's jammed. So, and you can't, you, they get caught, too. Because they try to pretend like I'm just going to walk away, but then you un, un like wind all the stuff and it's like, oh, look, Miss Genta's class. Mm -hmm. I know who right. this is. I know. It's true. So I feel like I was the jammer. I'd always accidentally jam things or it's not hot enough mm -hmm. or you're like, oh, you, I, or I, instead of pushing start, I push reverse. Woo! Yes. You know, it's just so stressful. Okay. This. There's only one way it goes, and this is my, if I jam it, I jam it, it's yeah. my problem. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to get in trouble. I love it. What's the price point on something like that? Oh, gosh, I don't, oh, I don't remember. Worth it. Whatever it is, it's worth it. Okay, I want to say it's either $20 or $40. Or Hello, like that's so worth it. You should get two. Okay, I'm not kidding you. I was talking on Instagram with this, and a lot of teachers were saying they have one at home and one at school. That's what I'm saying. Twin, so, twin laminators, one for each shoulder. It's amazing. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. I I've actually, when we were just talking, and I said to send this home with a parent, I've never actually done that, and I'm like, that is really smart. That's smart. That's a great you idea. You have somebody that wants to help, you yeah. know? Heck yes. Oh. oh. That is going to be hard to beat. That that number one product, I love it. What is number two? I feel like I should have done this one second. No, this is good. Okay. This is good. Okay, Monica. All right. So my second one, it's not flare pens. It's not a good stapler. I mean, I feel like those would have been easy options. Right, right. Okay, here we go. I have... <laughs> It's a personal paper cutter. Yes. Now, we need to have some disclaimers here. Yes, please. Okay. If you have this in your classroom, you need to store it. it this is like a weapon, okay? It's it's like you can yeah. chop fingers, right? So you need to like keep it out of the reach of the kids. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So let's all just set the stage here that we need to be very careful with this. Yes. But again, at most schools, you have a really, really heavy duty one of these in the work supply room, which yeah. I'm always the farthest one from that. And yeah. then people are using it. So I feel like oftentimes when you do need straight lines, you're cutting things in bulk. Yes. And so having one of these in your room or at home, I drag this to and from too. It's yeah. just really easy to make, especially if you're prepping things for centers where you have task cards and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Just these quick cuts, it really saves your life. So look at that. I call that machine the machete chopper because I feel like basically they attached a machete to a flat surface. That's what that is. I mean, basically, right? No, yes. it's true. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a true. it's a it's sword. It's a sword on a platform. But girl, I'm totally with you. Like there are there are ones in our workroom that I swear to God it was made in like 1809 and it weighs 400 pounds and you can't lug that thing home with you. So you got your laminator on one shoulder, you got your paper cutter on the next. You can do all of those tasks that like maybe you do at school. You can bring that home, get on the Netflix, get a glass of wine, laminate some stuff, machete chop it. There you go. I mean, it's heaven. You know, that's all you really need. Yes. Ugh, so. oh, these are so good. Girl, I know that this was a big task to pick only two things, but I, I would say that you nailed it. Absolutely I, okay, nailed and if it. There, if there was a third... Okay, here it comes. Okay, I would invest in a really heavy-duty, amazing pencil sharpener. Yes. Like, 
high-end pencil sharpener where it's just like zing zing and they're perfectly sharp you yes know? yeah because it's our favorite when a kid goes to the pencil sharpener with a brand new pencil and they come back and it's this big and it's like uh what happened there and they're like well i couldn't i couldn't sharpen it it's like oh my gosh right and your lighting Mm, God, I still can't get over your lighting. It is <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Thanks, Monica. It's been fun hanging out with you. Yeah! You might not even be watching this because you have already stopped this video and went onto the Amazon to get you a laminator and a machete paper chopper. No judgment. That is incredible. I actually wanted to share one of my favorite teacher supplies with you. It is... This boom box right here, yes, that is right. I do have a boom box that does happen to have a cassette deck. This is actually Jock Jams on cassette. I love carrying this around on my shoulder and rocking out jams in my classroom, in my school. It is a game changer. I'm not kidding, I feel like we should be dancing in schools more often. Guys, if you think that the boom box is awesome, let me tell you a little bit about an upcoming opportunity. Starting April 1st, I am relaunching my Crushing It For Kids April Edition 21 Day Course that is all happening online on the Facebook. It is a three week opportunity to engage with teachers from all over the United States earn professional development credit hours, and learn so many incredible ideas that are gonna help you crush it in the classroom for the last couple months of school. It is going to be an insane amount of fun. There is a link in the episode notes for you to check out more. Guys, connect with Michelle Griffo on Instagram and on her YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and share this episode with friends. I would love to see you in the April edition of the Crushing It For Kids course. But guys, the most important thing that I want you to get out of this episode are those two tips to help you in your classroom. So go out there and have some fun with kids and remember, hey, you got this.